Hello students today we will revise our chapter wind storm and cyclone let's see what is air air is a mixture of gases which is present all around us the envelope of air surrounding our earth is called atmosphere the atmosphere consists of many layers as shown in the figure given below Let's see properties of air. Air exerts pressure. Moving air lowers the pressure of the area it occupies. Air moves from a high pressure region to a low pressure region. Air expands on heating. Warm air is lighter than the cold air. Let's perform an activity to prove that air exerts pressure. Fill water up to the brim of a glass. Cover the mouth of the glass with a piece of cardboard. Hold the cardboard in place over the sink and then turn the glass upside down. Now gently remove your hand away from the cardboard. What do you see now? Does the water spill out of the glass? You will see that the water stays in the glass. What holds the cardboard against the glass? The air outside the glass exerts an upward pressure that is just balanced by the pressure due to the fluid in the glass. This keeps the water in the glass and prevents water from coming out. This proves that air exerts pressure. Now let us see some daily life examples for this property of air. While boating you find it easier to row the boat when the wind is blowing from behind you. It is easier to fly a kite when the wind is blowing from behind you. It feels difficult to walk against the wind. The air pumped into the bicycle tire exerts pressure and keeps it inflated. Air pressure can be experienced on the sails of yachts that help it to move forward. Let us perform another activity to prove that moving air reduces the pressure of the area it occupies. Hang two ping pong balls about 10 cm away from each other using a thread. Blow between the ping pong balls as shown in the figure. What do you observe? Were you able to separate the balls by blowing in between? You will see that the balls are pushed towards each other. Why did this happen? When we blow between the ping pong balls, the air pressure between them gets reduced. The air pressure outside the balls is higher and pushes the balls towards each other. This proves that moving air lowers the pressure of the area it occupies. Now let us take some daily life examples for this property of air. We are suggested not to stand near a moving train because the air moving along with the train reduces the pressure near the train. This causes rushing of air from surrounding high pressure region to move towards the train. We may experience pull towards the train due to the low pressure. The roofs of houses get blown off during a storm because high speed winds over the roof creates a low pressure. The air inside the house is at a high pressure. The force on the roof of the house is from higher pressure zone to lower pressure zone. This creates an upward thrust and the roof is lifted. Let's perform another activity to show that air moves from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure. Blow a balloon and hold its neck tightly. The air inside the balloon is at a higher pressure as compared to the air outside the balloon. Now, 
release the neck of the balloon. What do you observe? You will find that the air rushes out of the balloon like a gust of wind. This shows that air moves from a high pressure region to a low pressure region. Let us perform another activity to show that air expands on heating. Tie a balloon tightly on the neck of a glass bottle. Place the bottle in a container having hot water for some time. What do you see? Now place this bottle in a container having ice cold water for some time. What do you observe now? In the first case, the balloon blows up. This is because the air in the bottle gets heated by the hot water. The air particles move away from each other and take up more space. The air becomes light and less dense. As a result, warm air rises up. In the second case, the balloon deflates. On cooling, the particles of the air contract and take up less space. This proves that air expands on heating. Now let's perform another activity to show that warm air is lighter than the cold air. Take a long and thin wooden stick. Mark its center. Tie a piece of thread in the middle of the stick. Hang two identical paper bags at each end of the stick. With the help of the thread, hold the stick and balance the bags. Now, place a candle below one of the paper bags as shown in the figure. What do you see? The bag above the candle is pushed up. Why does this happen? When the air becomes warm, it becomes lighter and rises up. And the bag above the candle is pushed up. This disturbs the balance of the paper bags. This proves that warm air is lighter than the cold air.